got some gold. We are expecting sales right for very good up. We are able to the daily time frame. If I clearly zoom in, I mean, zoom out, you can see that there was an area of liquidity that was swept, so we can be expecting um, a MISA down move to the downside in gold. So, um, that's what made me think we are going to reach up to this low in gold. For now, this is an inside buy, it shows our price is ready, but you can see most price actually in the future. Let's move on. But obviously, we won't take entries here. When you reach here, we'll look for confirmation before we take entries. And if you reach here, because um, even in our Fibonacci, if I draw it from here, yeah, you can see that at this point is our danger zone, but there are no imbalances here, so we can actually shift it here to here. But we'll obviously, take confirmation trades. Yeah, so we are in the USD card and from here we see we are in an uptrend. We have this this break of structure took out inducement go the same thing break of structure took out inducement took out inducement and right now um it took out inducement that we are going down and mitigate something here so um we should be kind of looking for buys on the um USD card something like that. Uh, so I marked out the previous day high of hope like that and if I switch here in our 15 minutes time frame uh, so this is the 15 minutes time frame and as you can see here we are completely bullish but this is one of the recruitment trade I took back here I'll share the screenshots in the telegram group so what are we expecting here we can see our lower highs i always i say lower highs higher highs and there was a break of market structure here for me this for me this so um i'm looking at price to actually go up maybe take out this liquidity over here um take this liquidity out something like this yeah um come back to this zone before going up so we're expecting buy at this zone if I draw my Fibonacci from um, here to yeah, sorry. Um, <coughs> so um, if I draw my fibs from here to, um, to the current price action, it's actually showing us that we're supposed to buy around here and there are chances that markets won't actually come to mitigate our order block but um i'm still having high hopes that markets will actually push down and mitigate it here but i can still find confirmation if market didn't so i'll still go long to break the high so if we see like any um one minute any one minute confirmation we can actually enter a buy from here directly you know as i this is our pre-market analysis so uh, in the one minute time frame um let me get rid of this this was a long order so um i don't think we'll use this again just wanted to show you okay um so we're over here and this is the current price action so if market does something like taking out this low and uh, maybe mitigate something here uh, we can buy but uh, it will be a actually low a risky entry because if i go down here sorry if i go down to this other block we can see lots of imbalances and this is actually a zone that price will actually come back to fill maybe um from here to here uh, so guys uh in continuation of our analysis i drew this trend line and this uh, liquidity above to take and 
I'll be actually looking at price to take out um, this liquidity for our buy. Um, I'm sorry, I don't have internet. Let me connect. So, this is an area of liquidity, and I'm expecting price to go up to this side and then before it will drop to our other block. Sorry, I meant for price to go up here. Expecting price to um, go out and take out this liquidity and come to this side, but um, who knows what the market will do? Sure, then as you come here, it will go up, so it can enter over here. Or, oh, sorry, that's not even our other block over here. So, um, so I'm not actually directly looking for bias, but if I see any setup like if price takes out this low, then you know, definitely I can buy for the meantime. Price take out this low, then I can buy to the side just for scalping, not for any other thing. Let's go back to our other block. Um, this was not actually an other block. I I just drew it. Um, this was our main zone that we're looking for other block. So um, in this case, I'll actually just mark the other block. And this was like our last momentum. is like an unmitigated water flow. Uh, let's zoom in and see whether we can find the hidden water flow. Um, so many imbalances. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Uh, imbalance. Balance, but um, it's like our only two other blocks is here. Sorry, if I want to mark an other block, this but is already mitigated as we stand. So, um, this is not a valid other block again. So, um, we can shift it to this because there's imbalance yeah so I can use that as other block and a very special zone that I'm looking out for is um here because this is a very valid pullback like I can actually look here, but let's not forget we we'll always check for confirmations. We'll always check for confirmation trades. But these two zones are um, specific zones where I'm looking for the buy on USD card. Because um, I take this as trend line liquidity, and uh, you know, whenever price breaks out, price cannot just continue going to break the miser high after a trend line liquidity. But you can expect some downside move after liquidity sweep, and you can expect some, you can sell for the short term, um, you can sell for the short term to so this point. Then, if you see any confirmation signal like something like this okay, we can buy temperature is too high
so if you get something like this then um taking out the previous side then we can buy here but if price breaks then we can even decide to buy here and put our stop loss here it depends so um we can do something like um uh, this we can just buy here and put our stop loss just above it and our profit target is um This will be our profit target, but um, this is um, like a huge risk to reward. So, we can even try, it depends on the confirmation. So, let's delete this. Okay, let's move on to Euro USD and let's check the one day chart. So, what's happening here in the Euro USD? You can see um, a huge resistance of uh, this is pure trend line liquidity uh, here, but this is an uptrend for now. So um, you know what? Uh, let me just check it on a different distance. Yeah. So, what can we see here? Um, a downtrend and now an uptrend. So, what was like our recent change of character? Um, I pick this. So, this low was open and this is like the high. And I'll take this as a change of character. keeps going let's forget all of this um, for now we can see price is bullish we will be prepared um, something here and we went up right now we can see like can see the liquidity sweep here and we can expect major move um carry the horizontal line I put here if I zoom in um okay um uh, um so guys this is the 15 minute of the euro USD and I'll be so earlier in the the deep time frame that it was bullish but from our 15 minutes of here was seeing that it's bullish and was seeing a change of character so i'm actually going to follow my we are bullish for the short term but in in our daily we are bullish but in our 15 minutes we are seeing a change of character which is showing us that we are going to bullish i mean turn bearish and this is our inducement so what I can say is that I'm looking at price to um uh, let me show you guys you know, to actually go up take out this increase tap on the other block and sell off and sell off say, around this low before going back up. That is what I'm looking at price to do. And uh, some of you will be asking me why. Okay, if we go here to our edge by now. Uh, we can see the euro usd and we can see that the bias is sell now that i'm using this as well we can sell for the short term on the euro usd um, if we check here we have a score of minus three um the trend is bullish as i said it's bullish but for the short term we can sell um this is a very tough sell score uh the edge finder actually combat combines all the data for fundamentals and everything and gives you a bias so it's like a good distance to follow fundamentals i seen the gdp grow the unemployment rates and every other thing else so um we can actually be selling and what i focus on more is this retail sentiment 
as smart money concept traders we trade against retired traders you can see that they are buying euro usd but that's creating a lot of liquidity so i'm looking to sell euro usd now if i go over to the uh, bank signals Bank signals analyst rating um, a one week bias is actually um, bullish. That is all banks are saying, which is true. On a one sideways and on a quarterly is bearish. So bank ratings are rating um yeah for Euro USD. Sorry guys. Okay, as you can see in the Euro USD, as I was saying. The one week bias, this is now what banks are rating it is actually bearish. And you can see that uh, on the one month is sided and on quarterly is bullish, exactly what we are expecting. Um, banks are rating it sideways, are actually bullish. But analytics rate is bearish for the moment. Uh, this is the scatter plots. And see, major banks in the world are trading this out for now. Um, for now is bearish so this is the a1 edge finder for so, um, back to our charts but what i noticed that for the meantime i can actually um, buy here i can put the stop loss um, or actually just up this side but safer stop loss is this side and i can buy till taking out the inducement as you know market will always take out the inducement I can take 90% of my partials here and leave the remaining trades to run and test this other block or test this one before falling downwards. These are our realistic targets and this is our 1 to 4 but on the lower time frame um, we can actually see um, a refinement zone. At this fifth point you can see you can refine it and get the higher rates to reward entry this is the range and this is the fifth zone so and you can see everything is be ticketed uh -huh. it's be ticketed everything you can see an unmitigated zone. Yeah. This is also unmitigated. You can also see unmitigated zones around here. Okay, nice. I'm seeing a trend line. Oh, it's a bot. We can look for um buys around this fifth zone level yeah around here so um we can actually buy here safer stop loss uh safer stop loss is just above it every stop loss is here but i'll put my stop loss here and we can uh, do this thing to the um inducement level over here that's uh one to fourteen but i can still my stop loss here for more safe style but i can put my stop loss here depends on price action and if i see something like um if i see something like this and then this and then this then this then this then i can definitely enter here this would be perfect so for me if i see all this and then market to shoot up this side so 
I don't just enter straight, I wait for confirmations. So we'll remove this and so that's all for um Euro USD and let's move on to the next stock I trade stocks to so Okay, and we're in the Apple stock charts now, and we can see that we were in an uptrend and then we are in a downtrend. As you can see, um, this is like the lower low that took out inducements. Uh, sorry, lower high here. We delete this, and we saw a broke of structure over here. And after the break of structure, we saw price took out um, inducements, the major inducements, price took it out, and we can see our uh, fall again at um, a perfect order block that our price is reacting to. Okay. So we can be expecting a sell-off of the Apple store. Oh, uh, we've been in the down for so, uh, a while. Um, in the 15 minutes, we are completely bullish, but since we saw a kind of review, guys, we are back again with the Apple stocks and um. um I made a mistake um, on the daily analysis. Uh, so um, instead of this zone for sale, I'm looking for price to go up to mitigate the extreme cost. Um, we have our engineering liquidity over here, and price must always take out the engineering liquidity so, um For price to go here for coming down. Okay, so um, let's go back to our 15 minutes time frame. And as you can see, I got some team markets with this hour higher, high, higher, low, higher, high, higher, low, higher, low, higher, low, higher, 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 our higher low will be confirmed when price takes out this side that's when we we'll have this higher low so for now um as you can see price have been ranging around this side and um i drew my fibonacci from here and you can see here is our red zone where i'll be looking for buys so this is the red zone and Around this side, uh, I'm looking for price to actually come back to this side before going up. Mitigate one of these two other points. So, in our uh, one minute time frame, um, we can see one of these two unmitigated other blocks that price has to come and fill. So, um, I can enter here. Safer stop loss here, riskier stop loss just above it, and um, we can target the high. That's our 13 RR trade. So, obviously, we wait for confirmation. If we see um, a very nice confirmation here, we can directly enter here, tighten our stop loss too. We will see something like tap here, change of character, and yeah, we can enter here. Um, definitely. So, uh, we'll, we can enter here and uh, we'll put our stop loss just above it. Uh, same thing, we can target the highs. We can enter based on the single candle order block tutorial. So, uh, that's all for today. So, uh, this is all the analysis for the week. So, thank you very much, guys, for watching this video. My name is Preuss and I just started newly. My aim is to make money in the forex market and those that are struggling 
and that is why I made this YouTube channel to follow me along. Uh, very soon I'll be doing a forex tutorial where I teach you guys my strategy. So I create based on smart money concepts. There are a lot of videos online that teach um, so many things about smart money concepts that aren't actually smart money concepts. Sometimes I even feel like the banks don't even trade SMC, but after learning and applying for someone um, a hedge fund mentorship so after i applied for a hedge fund mentorship and i got it free so i learned the true ways of how banks trade and that is what i've been working for me and i'm going to be teaching you guys very soon on this channel so my name is praise and hit the like button for your boy and um, please if you like the video subscribe thank you very much